I'm Jess Sapik, your Holiday Digital Ninja, and this is the MindShift Moment for December 2012. Here's what's hot on KQED's MindShift blog. 10 things teachers can learn from YouTube. Sure, YouTube can teach us all how to prance around Gangnam style. But the secrets behind YouTube's staggering success can also help us be better teachers. For example, successful YouTube videos need to get to the point fast. Otherwise, we tune out. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. The art of brevity is essential for teachers to master too. YouTube also teaches us about the importance of humor and the need for students to express themselves and make their own choices. But if we're gonna practice what we preach, we need to keep this short. So see the blog for the complete list of lessons. The question is more important than the answer. The folks over at the Right Question Institute think we have it all wrong. It's not the teacher who should be asking the questions. It's the kids. In their new book, they outline a step-by-step -step process to help students formulate and prioritize questions about nearly everything. The quest is for the question, not the answer. The idea is that if students are engaged in formulating the questions, they'll be more invested in discovering the answers. Teachers and students say the method is both empowering and difficult, but it's worth it because it helps students develop higher order thinking skills that will help them make decisions and think for themselves. Who could question that? Five tools to teach programming to kids. Teaching kids to use computers is important, for sure. But teaching kids to program computers, even at a very basic level, is also critical. Learning how to program can make technology seem less magical and more manageable. And it teaches important math and logic skills. To get started, beginners might want to check out Scratch or Alice, which allows students to visually create games and design animated sequences. Hackity Hack is a simple tutorial that helps students learn the syntax to quickly build apps in the popular Ruby programming language. Arduino is an open source software and hardware kit that helps you build just about anything. It can have a steep learning curve, but it gives you tons of freedom to make real life objects that move, blink, and talk. Lego Mindstorms is a simpler step into the world of robots. Although it can get pricey, the kits and software allow students to quickly build and control movable objects made out of everyone's favorite toy. You mean Furbies, right? From everyone at the ITM, we wish you the happiest holiday season, and we'll see you in 2013. Ho, ho, ho. Looking to go deeper? Links to everything shown in this episode can be found at infinitethinking.org. You can even download your very own copy of the show for offline use. And if you loved what you saw in this episode, check out one of the other ITM episodes and click on the subscribe link to make sure you get notified about other future episodes. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more creative ideas on how to make learning come alive. Remember, you are the infinite thinking machine.